All right, here's my screencast on my what I think is going to happen with silver. Uh, you guys wish I used to make videos like this or, or screencasts like this when I used to trade quite a bit and I could ride IBM and Lycos and other stocks and just make stupid money by pressing a couple of buttons on my computer. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Um, if you want to take advantage of silver, and you can still do it if you're trading, uh, I collect physical personally, but um, if you were fooling around with some of these silver ETFs, you can buy and sell and take advantage of these things. And you have to understand that uh, this market is 100% rigged and it has nothing to do with technicals, it has nothing to do with freaking mine production and what's going on, right? They run this uh, market uh, depending on news and politics and how much they can make. Now, down here, the boys, whoever they are, uh, actually, we know who they are. <laughs> JP Morgan, the big bankers. Um, the bankers, the corporations I talk about. Um, see, it's the, the banks and the corporations they set up uh, that are running our markets, and not just silver, all of it. The FRN, um, name it. It's, the, the markets are now 100% rigged. They have nothing to do with reality. They go how the bankers want them to go. And they're not even, they don't even play anymore. They don't even pretend like they're not rigging them anymore. Okay, one thing. Well, look at this right here. Okay, this is going to get filled in eventually. But um, this right here was where they were collecting silver because when they take it to 100, they want a five bagger. Right? They don't. They don't want to be up here at 30 and just get a three bagger out of that. Right? You know, in the in the 30s. If it wasn't a rigged market, we'd be at 100, 150, something like that now. But we're not. We're down here in the 20s. Um, I expect a double bottom, and I was thinking that perhaps they would take it lower. So everybody's thinking, oh, it's gonna take off now. It's gonna it's nothing but blue sky from here, guys. Um, I beg to differ. I think we're gonna get a double bottom uh, coming up here. But if you look at the short term, this is a hell of a run right here. And we had a little bit of a pullback, and I think they're going to pull it all the way back down in to get a double bottom. That's just what I'm thinking, personally. Um, if you take a look at the two-year, you can start seeing the moving averages there. There's the 200-day. Um, here's the 30-day moving average. Uh, th th where's the trend on the 200-day? <laughs> is that trend up or down? That trend has not turned up yet. The 30-day uh, has turned up, but th that's, you know, short-term, that doesn't mean much uh, for this market. Now, if you start looking at the five-year, you can start seeing how much of a huge leap that is. And any time they take it up like that, it comes back down again. Look at all these other ones. And take a look over here at these double bottoms. They're all over the place. Um, and again, if we look at, you know, there's the eight-year. See, look at that. I mean, that's it. You can start to see how steep of, of a, a climb that is. That's why this market is volatile and it's not for the, the weak of heart. <laughs> and they'll shake you out. And it's like a penny stock now. They head fake you. They screw with it. I mean, they treat it like a penny stock. It's, it's amazing because this market is so small. And this tells you how, uh, well, comparatively to say oil or, you know, the you know dollar uh, trading uh, or currency trading or... Uh, you know, a lot of the other market, gold markets, etc. The the amount of money in this market is so small that they can manipulate it however they want. And I'm telling people that when the uh, disturbance, when the correction, when the uh, when the collapse comes, or when the when the market does uh, begin to drop, silver is going to drop too, just like it did last time here. Because what happens is uh, when they start making those margin calls, when they st when things start going awry and people need, and you know the, the bets go against them and they need to raise cash, they sell everything, and they, they, I mean they sell everything. So silver will be no exception in the portfolios when they're liquidating to make margin calls, or when they're liquidating, they uh, they'll sell the silver and the gold just like they do anything else, and that will drive the price down. And they know this. So here's our tenure. And looking at this, okay, you see that right there? There, there, there? People are saying this is the floor right here at 20. I tend to agree, this little mountain, because if you look at this one, that's where the floor was, and then it started taking off again. And people are thinking that, okay, we're roughly here again, and it's going to start climbing and marching back up again, and there's nothing but... But what I'm saying is, look, they, it, it's always, they take it up, they bring it back down. They take it up, they bring it back down. Um, 
And if you look at the, the long term here, uh, taking it back down here is not unthinkable. <laughs> they could, in fact, bring it back down to 10. Um, I was looking for that here. I was thinking they were going to keep it, bringing it down and down and down until they got about here and then start bringing it back up. Because if they brought it down to 10, now when it goes to 100, the, the, the bankers get a 10-bagger instead of a 5-bagger. Um, they may not be able to do that, though, because already down here with the way uh, inflation and prices have gone, miners can barely pull silver out of the ground at a profit at these prices. Any time you get there and the, the uh, silver stocks were just beat to crap, those that's when you want to buy, guys. You want to buy when nobody likes it. You don't want to buy when everybody's all happy with the market, when everybody wants whatever stock it is or whatever sector it's in. When everybody says, yeah, and they can't take the pain anymore and blood's in the streets, that's when you buy. This is when all the big boys tell you. This is not, you know, my brilliance. This is studying people like Jim Rogers and uh, Soros and Buffett and all these guys, the, the most successful investors. And again, the name of the game here is not buy bottom, sell top. So if you miss this over here, and, you know, I know people that backed up the truck and started buying when it started going up here. Who cares? Take your position, and you'll see that when it get, it's going to get back to 40. I mean, <laughs> that's no question. It's going to get over 40. So you're going to have at least a two-bagger out of this thing. Um, you can probably get a 10-bagger out of this thing um, if you hold it long enough. But for those of you that want to trade, you know, taking positions here and selling here, that's a, that's a good deal right there. I mean, that's a, that's you, you made some money there, right? Uh, and if you look at a percentage basis, that's a, a, a great trade right there but the uh, if you look at the markets carefully or if you look at this market carefully and the charts carefully they take it up but then when they take it up it's gonna come back down they take it up and they bring it back down they don't just they're, they're not gonna let this thing run even when it peaked up, right take it back oh down right oh double bottom oh bottom right bottom okay to say that you know that, that's nothing but up from here those are, people that sell silver will tell you it's nothing but up from here, right? Because what's the, what, uh, go to a barber and ask him when the best time for a haircut is, right? <laughs> so, I mean, go to a real estate agent and ask him when the best time to buy silver uh, houses is, right? They'll tell you right now. When is the best time to buy silver? Now it's going to go. Okay, well, maybe. But it looks to me, my prediction is that it's going to go up and then it's going to come back down and then it's either going to make a double, probably a double bottom and probably do it again and go up and come down. And it may not get back all the way down to 20, but it's going to get close to 20. Um, may punch through the floor. I don't, I don't put anything past these guys because it looks like the floor is in right around here, right around, you know, 19 bucks or 18 bucks or so uh, before they take it back up again. And when it does take off, it tends to run, right? So when you see these, these, when it starts going parabolic like this, people are like, oh, it's, we, they've lost control of it. It's going to the moon. I was hoping that that might, might be the case too and they might finally let go of it and it would get to 100 or 150 or so. Obviously not. They brought it back down all the way to 20, tried to shake out everybody. Uh, and it, a lot of people did get shaken out actually. Silver is, believe it or not, you can still get silver in the physical form down here. <clears throat> but like I said, if you want to do trading, uh, the short-term trades are pretty clear uh, when you get this kind of action and then it takes off, sell. All right? You get this kind of action and it takes sell. This kind of action bouncing around down here. Anywhere you bought down here was fine, right? I mean, even if you got it way over here, you went, oh, no, I lost my, oh, just wait. Sell. But see, most people can't sell when it gets up like this, when you've made this nice return, when you've made this nice return, most people can't get up. They just hold on and keep collecting. Well, if you're, you're uh, what do you call it? If your uh, goal is long-term hold and you know, you're preparing for the collapse, then just collecting is fine. And, you, and this was a gift down here. If it never gets back down here and it just bounces around here for a while sideways, at, like this, you know, going up and down and up and down and the, and the new bottom is around 24 or so, which, like I said, I don't believe it is. I think it'll, they're going to bring it back down again. You're fine because long term, this thing's going back over 45. This thing's going to 100. It's going to 150. There's no question. Uh, when it was five, I was telling everybody, this thing's going to go. Now, if you're in where I am, where most of my purchases were made years ago um, at the $5 range, 24 don't look so bad, right? 20 doesn't look so bad. But if you're just getting in for the first time, 
uh, and you got in, you know, up here at 38 or anywhere, you know, there are a lot of people buying over here when it was in the, in the, in this area. And now they're like, oh, I've lost half my money. Sit and hold guys. They're trying to shake you out. That's what they want to do. They're going to have to fill this back in and they're going to have to fill this back in first. So you're going to see when it gets to this area, it's going to do a lot of bouncing around and so forth because the market makers are going to want to uh, fill this thing back in. Um, and then same thing here, when it gets into the 30 to $40 range, there's going to be a lot of choppiness because they got to fill this back in. This, this, this did not do it right here. This, this, there needs to be a lot more happening here in this area over here before it punches through 40 and starts its ascent. There is a lot of resistance above, uh, above where we are now, a lot of resistance. Um, and again, it's the rigged market. This is not, you know, this, this is not real uh, resistance. This is not real uh, market factors that are causing this. What's happening here is the the market makers make their money. And just if you've ever traded penny stocks and you've played in the penny markets, treat silver like a penny stock. When you hear all these people talking about how it's going to take off and you know gold's going to go and and so forth and nope it's finally turned around and then you hear and they make it before it was difficult to get the information about the uh well public information anyway anybody that that's uh trading stocks and and looking at the the uh markets can see um you know when they go short and when they go long and so forth but when they make a big deal about closing out their shorts and you hear it in the papers and you hear about, you hear about it in the wall street journal and there's articles about oh the banks they've taken out they you know they're not they're silver contracts they're closing them and they're not going short they're this it's the shortest they've been they're all going long i'm expecting people to get burned because when they make information like that public they're trying to get everybody to jump on and then they make just as much money going short as they do going long guys so if they're short here and they take it down to 20 there's tons of money to be made there just think about that. There were there are there crap loads of money were made right here. <laughs> I mean, lots and lots of money was made right here on the downside. Now a lot of investors that only know about going long or lost, right? Here, three dollars. I mean, heck, that's almost a ten percent decline, right? Actually, that's more than a ten percent decline. Um so they made, you know, a, a goodly amount of money here. They made a goodly amount of money here. They knew what was happening. They knew what was going to go, right? They've ridden it here. Now, like I said, I think they're going to take it back down again and do it again. So when it gets near 20, bye, 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 bye. Right? And, and, and you'll see this kind of thing going on uh, as we climb up. They'll do it again here. They'll do it again near 30. They'll do it again in the, you know, 30 to 40, et cetera, on the way up. It's not just going to do, you know, this why is my there you go okay uh it's not just gonna you know rock it off to 100 like this i doubt it very much they will there will be some check marks and some stops also when you see a uh, long protracted rise like this uh expect them to take it back down again so you could you know roll your uh, physical silver rolling that's a term uh, right where you sell everything and then you buy it with the intention of buying it back lower um, and then wait for the next run and you never know where, where they're going to take it, but they're not, uh, they, I mean, they, they have not lost control. Our bankers are still firmly in control and they'll use stuff like Syria and war and, and whatever it is, um, to, you know, make excuses for why the market does what it does and why they've taken it up this far. And, oh, now they've got to take it back down again because of whatever economic calamity, right? They, I mean, the goblins that they make are all hobgoblins and their fear and, and nonsense and so forth. And then they tell you, oh, good economic news, and it's nonsense again. The, they completely <laughs> just fudge the numbers. Oh, everything's hunky-dory, look. Uh, and then... Um, actually with silver, that's, that, that kind of news actually takes the market down. Like, oh, things are better than we thought. The economy is great. The, you know, the jobs market is, <laughs> right, whatever. The real estate market, we've reinflated that bubble and things are great. So, of course, the money goes that way. Comes out of silver and the price comes down. Along with some rigging and, and other things that they do, machinations that they do to, to um, you know, cause people to have to uh, make margin calls and sell their positions. Um, and there's going to be more of that. It's, I'm, 
doubt very highly that 30 is the next stop. I think that this trend line is intact. It's starting to level out a little bit, but I doubt that it's going to, the 200 day moving average is going to turn up uh, anytime soon. In fact, if you do the math, it's, it's going to have to go quite a bit higher for to move that average. Um, so expect it to come back down to 20 and, and then uh, buy. And when it takes off again, sell. And then, it, you know, <laughs> just play the market. Be smart about it. Um, the idea about holding this for the long term is great. If you're just collecting silver, it's great. Right? You buy less here. You just dollar cost average. You buy less up here. You're buying more down here. Every month you put some money into silver. Physical, you take possession and hide it. And, uh, right, don't be sticking this in your in your in your bedroom or under the bed or whatever or under the house and I know people literally burying it in their yards uh, um, no there's places you can put it that's safe you don't want to stick it in a safe deposit box you don't want to stick it in an American bank there are warehouses that you can put it overseas um, that will take your physical silver and there's actual silver there unlike the warehouses in the United States where they give you a piece of paper that says hey thanks for the silver or the gold and they give you a piece of paper that says you have silver or gold stored in their warehouse and actually there's nothing there um, and when people start figuring that out and uh, there's actual calls and demand for precious metals and people think they have precious metals because they have them stored in warehouses in the United States and then it turns out that these guys have either leased it out or sold it and they're giving them pieces of paper that are backed by nothing, by air, um, there's going to be some problems and this price is going to take off. People haven't figured that out yet. Right now it's still a conspiracy theory, right? <laughs> still just, oh yeah, these guys, they're just, they're just saying that. The silver's there, the gold's there. I'm telling you, it's not. Um, that's, and that's based on mathematics. There's no way that they have all, there's no way that the paper promises are anywhere near reality when it comes to the amount of physical that's out there in the market. And when people start figuring that out and there are calls for actual silver and they can't get away with um, telling people, oh, why don't you take this, these FRNs instead? In fact, we'll give you FRNs at a premium, but we're not giving you metal, even though we're supposed to have your metal. Uh, you'll, you'll see that in the future, as things get worse, the prices will begin to reflect the scarcity of gold and silver, um, and the scarcity of above ground silver as compared to gold uh, will be reflected in the price. Just not yet. So meantime, have a fun time with us, and uh, have a good time uh, trading and making money when you see opportunities like this, and like this, and like this. Right, because even like I said, the name of this game is buy low, sell high. So even if you got up here and then it took, right, you could sell anywhere along here and be good. Right, just don't be selling over here because you panic, especially when you see the trend line. I mean, you can see the trend line was up here. The trend line is down, and it's gonna stay in this in, in like this for a while. It may level out like this for a little while, but I believe that they're gonna take it back down. And getting it back down here, all the way back down here, is not unthinkable. Now, I was thinking they were going to take it this way further and then go up, and I was wrong. But uh, I'm telling you, the chances for a double bottom or even a triple bottom like this right here are high before it takes back off again. And also, if we get a couple of these uh, lower lows and lower highs uh, going forward in the future, you know they're going to bring it back down. Right? I mean, and you, even if they play around up here and bring it back up into the into this range for a little while. The chances of them taking it back down are high. Um, and again, when it gets into the 30s, there's gotta be a lot of action to fill this, this drop right here before we, get, uh, before we clear 40 and start, <clears throat> and start hitting north uh, for a long period of time. This bull market is still intact if you look at it in the long there's no what trend the long term trend here this bull market is still going and when we get uh you know like i said when we when things start moving they it will be fast and furious and it will be hard to to get in uh on the way up and i have people now that are saying you know that they that they're better safe than sorry they're they're putting a lot of money in now in case this is the check mark here and we're taking off right and we go down a little bit more and it takes off um, anything under 30 in my estimation is a gift, right? Anything under 20 was a super gift. 
um, take advantage of it if it gets near 20 again. This is a no-brainer market to make money in. This is the easiest money. <laughs> Easy money. All right. 20 minutes of me babbling about silver.